Focus. Come on, bro. There we go. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. My coffee machine is so loud. Oh my god. Why are we blue? That's better. There's a plant. We got a plant. Brian's mom kindly got us a plant and it matches well with our new purple wall. Excited about it. Headed to the gym in just a bit, getting a workout in with a friend. I met him back in November when I got the Snapchat spectacles. Anyways, I met this guy that day. Had no idea who he was, but now he's a good friend and we're getting a workout in today. So let's head to the gym. But first that coffee, I need, I need that. I need that back there. <laughs> Warm up. She's all business. She doesn't even <laughs> want to talk to me. Let's go. Now, what does this feel for? Uh, core, stability, and warming up your shoulders and your glutes. Three years I did that. You I'm did do that. Now. Yeah, I did. So, like, if we go on the internet, we can find photos of you, like, you flexing. In a, no, in a sparkly bikini, though. <laughs> I've worn a purple one and a blue one. Did you win? I won one. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I started working out because I was really skinny in high school, like a toothpick. Really? I weighed like a hundred pounds so it could wet in high school. Flex your glutes so you can really get a good stretch. Oh, okay. This is like a yoga. You can do that too. You like roll back. Alright, Amanda, we're doing some, open up. some rolling stretches. The better thing to do before you're doing like squats or deadlifts or something heavy is to activate your muscles. So okay. instead of just like rolling them out, you want to like use them so they're warmed up and ready to go. Ah, okay. So like first thing, you know. activate. Second thing would be a like stretch a little bit, and the third thing would be a pull. Okay. It's like a rubber off. band. It's like a rubber band. You want to like you know stretch it a little bit, stretch it out, and then use the rubber band. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't use that. That's hard. This is hard. Hey, here, this one. This shit ain't easy. All right, kids at home watching. She's not bougie. She's bougie. So you want to like open up your knees and like sit into it, so there's like space. Well, the board. Where do your feet gotta be when you do a good squat? Like shoulder width, right? Look what you done. Do they still use that word ham? Toes up, and then you go down. When you come up, you 
Bodybuilder said I'm jacked. I like to exercise. Exercise. Man, I thought you said the hard stuff was over. <laughs> what are we doing now? Easy stuff. <laughs> this is going to be the hardest of all of them. It is. Walking lunges behind your head. For a surprise. All right, I'm trying to grow the butt, so this is important. <laughs> I would have worked out with Amanda that yeah, I would hate it in a good way. <laughs> but now you got me outside of my uh, comfort zone and I sweat and it hurts. Continuing the rest of the vlog in the next day and I'm about to head to the gym. I need some pre-workout because I'm a little tired. I have a couple of favorite pre-workouts. So my first favorite P Science pre-workout product. If I can find it, found you. I have like a shelf here. <laughs> found you. Favorite product. You guys have seen me talk about this many times before. Norcadrine. I think I'm gonna take this because it's not powder. So powders, I sometimes get a little sensitive to only when I'm deep into a cut, and sometimes I like prefer to just do a pill. And then sometimes I'm like, I really want the yummy taste of like the pre-workout powder, and you know. I don't know, it's just like mental things, I guess. So, Norcadrine is a fat burner, technically. However, you can't just buy a fat burner and expect it to burn fat for you. You have to do it yourself. It increases your internal body temperature, so it helps you burn a little bit extra calorie, but it's not like gonna help you burn all the fat. Like, it's gonna help you maybe burn like 1% extra or, to or tops. Um, this helps my energy and mood a ton. I love it, it's like a happy pill, I call it. There's also high volume, which is just the pump enhancing product. So it brings more blood to your muscles when you're lifting and it helps you to get a better pump in the gym, which it enhances um, muscle growth. So that's a great product. It's also caffeine free, which or stimulant free, which means you can have it like late at night or if you're caffeine sensitive or if you're doing like a caffeine cleanse, you can still have high volume and still get a pre-workout benefit. Alphamine is the powder version of Norca Dream. And we also have Prolific, which is a combination of high volume and alphamine without the thermogenic effect. So it's not a thermogenic. Um, if you're really into supplements, you will know the differences between those different things. But if you're not, and it's not a big deal, it doesn't matter too, too much unless you're really into supplements and you're a higher level athlete. But if you're just looking for something to help your workouts, um, having some sort of energy boost and having some sort of muscle enhancing, pump enhancing, product help. So I think I'm going to go with the Norcadrine and the high volume for today. So straight to the dome. Mm. Uh, I usually do that like this direction, but because I was down here, it went like straight down. <laughs> I can't wait to read the comments about that joke. We're not gonna record this workout because you guys saw a workout in this video already. Let's get to the rest of the day. This is what happens to my hair when I just let it do whatever it wants after the shower. <laughs> it's like, it looks like the plant. <laughs> it's like my natural hair. I don't. I usually blow dry it because I don't like it wet. 
I hate like leaving it wet and just letting it do its thing. I just don't like wet hair. I just don't like it. I got my workout done and I did film it because I told you guys before I filmed the, the you already saw a workout in this video. I was like, you know what? I'll just bike to the gym, get there, do my workout with Tito. Emma wasn't filming today. When I work out with him, it's like high intensity, no rest, all that stuff. And when I got there, he had me do the hardest workout. It was five rounds total. The first like three rounds, like we worked up in exercises. So the first round was two. Second round was th add the third exercise. The fourth round was add a fourth exercise. And the last round was add a fifth exercise. First two exercises were 100 jump ropes and 20 wall balls. So like the wall balls going up. And I'm telling you the story because I didn't film, but like it's story time right now. So we're just gonna sit and talk. And then the next thing that we did was 25 kettlebell swings. So it was another 100 jump rope, another 20 wall balls, and then 25 kettlebell swings. After that, another 100 jump rope, 120 wall balls, another 25 kettlebell swings, and then 30 walking lunges back and forth with my hands over my head, holding like a bar. So at that point I was, my asthma has been like crazy with working out with him. It's good because I need to push through it. But as it happens, I'm like my exercise induced asthma apparently is still there. I just never really have a reason to, to push myself to that level. And that's why I hired Tito. So I was, my asthma was acting up so bad. So every time I would kind of lose my breath a little bit, it, it's not bad as to where like I'll I'll lose my breath and have like an attack It's just that like I have to calm myself down and like catch my breath kind of thing. So it's not like a medical It's it's fine. It's not like I'm having like a random asthma attack and I need like an inhaler or something like that So I probably do need an inhaler before I do it That's what I used to have like years ago when I thought I had to use it for soccer But years later, I'm like, oh, I'll just do weight training and not need need that at all. So it's been fine up until this high intensity training and my kind of catching my breath. I'm like, <gasps> because I'm in the middle of the jump ropes. And when that happens, all I really, really need to do is like rest in between the sets. And Tito's kind of strategy is to let me rest and like, let me do my thing. But he like pushes me and he challenges me, which is really good. It's like a really good trainer not to be like, oh, are you okay? He's like, no, this is like the conditioning that you need. This is what we have to do. And it's good, but in the middle of it, I literally, my brain is in panic mode. So if you've ever had asthma, it's kind of like your brain just goes into this panic mode and you're, you can't catch your breath. And then in my head, I'm also just like, everyone's looking at me, I'm really frustrated. Um, I look like I'm out of shape, but I'm just like, can't catch my breath. And then I start to get anxious. So like my anxiety kicked in because I was frustrated and I couldn't catch my breath and I was just like pissed at myself. So I started like hyperventilating and like getting, oh, it was really bad. And then the last exercise he had me do on the fifth round was 35 deadlifts and I'm here like dying and my body was just like, nope, you're anxious, you're pissed off, you can't catch your breath. Like no, it just like wasn't happening. I ended up doing them and pushing through them in two sets. So I did 20 in one set and then 10 in another set. But anyways, I had a, a panic attack in the middle of my workout and it's not something to laugh about. It's just that uh, my brain took over. So it's something important to think about in terms of being in like panic mode or like if you're going through some sort of like really tough exercise like that, that your brain just kind of goes into like, okay, this is the hardest thing in the whole entire world. Like, please shut off. So that happened today. Fun story time. Now we should fix, fix my hairs. <laughs> All right, family, it's time for ooh, a little uh, fireside chat <laughs> or, or coffee table side chat or box light chat, <laughs> whatever's on the side over here, feels update. I have been less inclined to, you guys can probably tell like a little bit, just in terms of the way that my videos have been structured lately, I've been less inclined to like pick up the camera and vlog. I didn't vlog my workout and I didn't vlog, not that I didn't like want to, but I've been wanting to be more present in the moment lately as opposed to like pick up the camera and be like, oh, hold on, let me vlog it. There was like a point in time where I loved it and I was like, it's, this is not bothering me at all. But now it's like, I'm less inclined to like pick it up. It's like a, It's like work, it's a lot of work to, be like, okay, let me like pick up the camera and like, let me do this and get in this mindset. And sometimes I'm just like, no. That being said, I feel like right now doing three videos a week is like a, a little bit of like a push for me. If you guys make your own videos or you have your own channels, I encourage you to feel like you 
should do what feels good for you. There was a point in time where what felt good for me was like five videos a week and that was last year and I was doing my That Prep Life series and it was like fine, it was easy. I didn't have like too many things going on. I had some online fitness clients. Making videos was my main priority and yeah, that was that and like my, my prep was my main priority and I didn't have too many things going on but at this point in time, I have like a lot of different things going on, like the podcast and doing interviews. And then I have Brian now and like that's something that I want to focus on and spend time with him and spend time with friends. And what else do I want to do? My businesses, those are like things that I'm like just sitting down and working on. And it's not a whole lot that I can show you guys because I have like, I just sit down at my computer and work and it's like not really interesting. So <laughs> that being said, um, my next plan my plan now, and not saying that this will always be like this, but at this point in time, I'm gonna start doing two videos a week, and I want them to be um, like quality videos. Like I don't just wanna sit and vlog and like just take my camera and do a bunch of stuff. And that's fun to watch, like I like watching that. Like I think that for me, that's like something that I find interesting watching. There's a lot of different things that I do on my channel. Like I don't only do one kind of thing. I don't only vlog. I don't only do sit down videos. I don't do only workouts. I don't, I do like a lot of different things. And like clearly there's a lot of opinions in the comment section on what people like and don't like, but I just kind of do everything, I suppose. And I can't like please everybody. Like there's some people just here to watch the workouts. And there's some people that are just here to watch me talk. And there's some people that are just here to like see what's going on in like the background of my life and stuff, which is fine. And I wanna do all of those different things on my two videos a week. Emma, my video editor and videographer and I are, have like a lot of fun plans for the next month. We actually sat down together and we were like, okay, let's plan out the month so it's not, it's not like stressful or random. <laughs> so I'm excited about we what we have planned for the month. Oh, Brian's FaceTiming me. This is like a real thing. I'm like vlogging this. If I didn't have the camera running already, I would say no. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. Oh, my hair looks crazy. How are you? Why don't you put a hat on? I'm good, how are you? Good. I miss you. I miss you too, babe. How was your day? Okay. So, Brian and I just talked on the phone. I put my hair in a braid, and now we're back. So. Like I said, two videos a week. They're gonna be good, they're planned, but they're fun. Emily Duncan just played a video recently about like why she's not currently the biggest fan of social media. It has absolutely nothing to do with people having different opinions, but I think so many people are just on some sort of weird witch hunt to figure out what's wrong with people who like to open up and share who they are and show what they're doing, so. I just kind of want to be re-inspired to like do really fun stuff and like be excited to post on here again. So I'm taking a step back, refocusing on what my biggest goals are. And if you have a channel yourself, I would focus on making the videos that you like to make and don't spend so much time trying to replicate what other people are doing that you see working. Just be you, make the videos that are fun for you to make make the videos that are valuable, like that makes sense for what you wanna do with them. If you just wanna post for fun, do whatever you want, literally whatever you want and the right people will come. If you're posting for fun and for business, makes it a little more difficult for it to stay fun. And the only way to do that is to post stuff that you like, but that's also helpful for, uh, helpful for other people. So, that being said, I'm gonna get to finish work for the rest of the night. It's like nine, it's like nine. I still have like two hours of stuff to do. So that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. It's gonna be on Monday and I'll talk to you then. Have a good rest of your day. Mwah.